Hi boys and girls, welcome back. I'm Ms. Elia. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be learning about adjectives. And I'll explain a little further as we go into the lesson. But first I'd like to sing a song for you to, to kind of help us remember what adjectives are. So here we go. An adjective describes a noun, describes a noun. An adjective describes a noun, describes a noun. But what is a noun? It's a person, it's a place, or a thing. But remember, an adjective describes a noun, describes a noun. An adjective describes a noun, describes a noun. It describes a noun. All right, guys, so we just heard a song that can help us remember what adjectives are. So what are adjectives? Well, remember, we said an adjective is a word that I am using to describe a noun. So think about words that I can use to describe a noun. So think about this. Sometimes we can use our senses. So for example, how I see things or how I taste things, how I smell something, what I hear, or even what I feel. Think about our five senses, right? So also what I when I touch something, how does that feel to me? So think about those things and we can use sometimes our senses to help us identify those key adjectives, remember key words, to help us identify or describe what a noun looks like or how it feels, etc. Okay, so let's look at some examples of what we can use as adjectives. So here's the first example that we're gonna look at. If I see this person, this is a doctor. So when I think about doctors, I think, wow, that doctor is so brave. Why is that doctor brave? Well, remember, that's an adjective. I'm describing that doctor brave because they are helping others if they are sick. Another adjective I can use for doctor would be hero. We are seeing lots of doctors helping people, saving lives. That's a hero. Also, another adjective I can use to describe this doctor would be doctor is caring. They care about their patient's health. So those are three words I can use, three adjectives that I can use to describe this doctor. Remember, brave, hero, and caring. Let's look at the next example. Okay, here I have a fair, a picture of a fair. That's a place, remember, it's a noun. So how would I use words? adjectives to describe this fair. Well, if I'm looking at this fair, to me, I would feel that it's fun. That's one adjective to describe this fair. I would also describe this fair by saying it's exciting. I would feel super excited to get on those rides. I could also think about all those lights that I would see at this fair. They're bright. So the words that I use to describe this fair, fun, Exciting and bright. Those are three different adjectives that I can use to describe how this fair looks or how it makes me feel. Now, here's our next example that we're gonna look at. I want you to look at this. It's a strawberry. We all know strawberries. So this strawberry, it's a thing. I have some strawberries here too. So the strawberries, I can look at them and I could say, well, it's red, if you guys notice, right? See my image? It's red. But what else can I say? Red, yes, that's a color, but it also describes what this strawberry looks like. So, what else can I say about my strawberry? Well, it's kind of squishy. That's how I'm touching, remember our senses. I can use my sense and think, well, I'm touching. So if I touch it, it feels squishy. So the word squishy is also another adjective. Okay, let's see, one more word I can use. I can say it is sweet. So let's give it a try. Mmm, it's very sweet. So remember, to describe the strawberry, I used different adjectives. I said it was red, it was sweet, and it was also squishy. So those are three different adjectives that I use. Now it's time for some fun. Now you guys get to figure out some adjectives to describe the following images. Here we go. 
Here's our first one. What does this look like? Yeah, it's a burger. So how would I describe this burger? Here's some options. The first one, is it delicious? Is the burger fun or is it cheese? Which one of those three options is the adjective? What do you think? If you said the adjective to describe this burger is delicious, you are correct. Delicious is the adjective. Great job. Now let's look at the next image. Here's a picture of a firefighter. Now think about how would I describe this firefighter? Here's your choices. Firefighter description. Remember, adjective. Is this firefighter um, man? Is this firefighter brave? Or is this fire, fire, firefighter fire? <laughs> so which one would be the adjective? Think about it. If you said that the adjective is brave, you are correct. This, the way I would describe this firefighter is I would say he is brave. Brave is our adjective. Next, very good. Now, here's our playground. So if I look at this playground, how would I describe or use that adjective? Remember that word to describe this playground. So is it fun, is it slide, or is it climb? Which one is the adjective? If you said this playground is fun, you are correct because our adjective to describe this playground is fun. All right, here's the next one. I see flowers. Now these flowers, think about which one of the following would describe these flowers. Is the flower petal, leaf, or colorful? Which one is the adjective? If you guys said the adjective is colorful, that is correct. Good job. All right, here's our next example. These are students. Now, are these students, think about the adjective, how I, how I would describe them. Is it writing, learning, or excited? Which one is the adjective that describes the students? If you said the adjective is excited, you are correct. That is the description for these students. It's describing how these students look or how they probably feel, excited. Now here's our last example. Here we go. This is the beach, or a picture of the beach, right? Now, think about which one of these would describe the beach. Is it sandy? Is it water? Or is it relaxed? I don't know, what do you guys think? You said that the adjective is sandy. Yes, that is correct. Sandy would describe how this beach looks. All right, good job, boys and girls. I hope to see you in the next video and practice the song. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.